Hey, what's good, Maji gang? Welcome back to my channel here at Maji the Priestess, AKA Maji got the tea, okay? So um, for today's message, I would first like to tell you guys that I did this video at 2 p.m. today and um, I noticed that it was taking a while to upload. And when I check the video, that was 27 minutes, okay? I noticed that something very supernatural happened. Yup. Something very supernatural happened and this is why I'm making the video all over again. No, the video did not delete. In fact, the video speed was slowed down and the voice was very evil, okay? It converted everything that I was saying in a very evil voice. So I'm not gonna let nothing stop me from delivering this powerful message that I channeled here today, okay? There's a lot of dark forces that were really trying to not get this word out. And I tell you guys, this video was the most beautiful video, um, the most soothing channeling that I've done. And I was in awe when this happened. But it was a major confirmation for me that, you know, the darkness is trying to take over the light. Let's just put it that way. So hopefully this doesn't happen again as I'm uploading this video. Because um, what happened is literally impossible. And the title of this video is about something being impossible. So I see the enemy trying to get in the way of what God is doing for you to be impossible. Okay? Um, before I start this message, I would like to remind you guys. All right? Please... I'm going to remind you that there are scammers out there pretending to be me, okay? They're pretending to be me and they're offering personal readings through WhatsApp. I do not offer those readings. That is not me. It doesn't matter if they have my same name or if they say Maji Gang, okay? We know there are people that are copycats out there that are literally trying to replicate you like they're trying to replicate me, all right? So the only email that I have, if you want to contact me for a personal reading or business inquiry only, okay, only, I do not respond to any other emails, that is starseedspirit222 at gmail.com. So please beware, guys, of these scammers, of these dark entities. Today's reading and this message, which I'm doing all over again, second time is the charm, I guess, is with God, everything is possible, okay? With God, everything is possible comment that on the comments down below affirm this in your life okay you need to know you that chose this video whether you are new to my channel and this is your first time watching me or you are a returning subscriber whatever you are going through whatever obstacle that this is a financial obstacle an emotional obstacle you're dealing with marital issues you're dealing with financial issues you're you're asking god for a job you're asking god for a new home you're asking god for something here for better health i'm hearing okay you're going to you're going to get that miracle because God is the God of miracles, okay? And God creates things that are impossible that 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 may be impossible to the human eye, to the human mind, okay? But to God it is not impossible. Okay? Something that you need to know is whatever pain you're going through right now, this pain is actually training you to become the best version of yourself. Okay, this is what this pain is doing. It's training you to become the best you that you can be, my love. So take it as a pride. Take it as honor. Okay, when you are being challenged, just like I was being challenged with this video, that you must be doing something right for the enemy to need to attack you. And remember, all bad can be turned to good because we are alchemists. Okay, we are magicians. We can transform this. God has given us that power. All right, so um, I'm doing the whole video again. So this is the same thing I said in the last video that I was not able to upload. Okay, I pulled out the Bible, which is probably why I was being even more immerse, immensely attacked and tried to be stopped because I'm preaching the word of God, of course. And... Um, I opened it up to Matthews 21 as I was meditating on this message that God had given me saying, with God, all things are possible. All things. It doesn't matter. The humans place limitations, but God doesn't. Okay. 
God can do it all. God can do anything. So if you go to Matthew 22, verse 21, then you can see here that it says, Then Jesus told them, I tell you the truth. If you have faith and, know, and don't doubt, you can do all things like this and much more. You can even say to this mountain, May you be lifted up and thrown to the sea and it will happen. You can pray for anything, and if you have faith, you will receive it. Okay? That's a very powerful verse. I'm hearing some of you guys really need to open up your Bibles and read that and really take in that medicine. Okay? Take in that word. There is not a need to doubt. If you have doubt in trying to manifest something in your life, then that is what is blocking the manifestation from happening. That is what's blocking the miracle from being achieved in your life, okay? So I'm hearing that the same way that Jesus is saying here is, don't doubt. If you keep this faith, you can move mountains, okay? You can move mountains as long as you have faith, as long as you pray, and you know without a doubt that, yes, God has your back, and that, yes, God will make this happen, okay? Okay? If you are dealing with some sort of health issue, some of you guys, I don't know, um, if you are dealing with cancer or maybe you went to the doctor and the doctor told you something that, you know, hey, listen, this is the only way you got to do this or they have no solution. God is the way. OK, God is going to give you the solution, the healing that you need at this time and make he's going to make things possible for you. OK, so I need you to comment down in the comments down below with God. All things are possible. My pain is my training to be victorious, okay? These are things that you need to be affirming in your life on a daily basis, as well as prayer to enforce, enforce um, this truth in your life, okay? And to make it happen. So, let's do this video all over again. Some of the things I do remember, um, you know, I was saying that, if you're stuck in a situation, God is going to shift things for you, okay? God is the one that's going to be able to shift things in your life. God is going to be able to bring you the abundance, the healing, the fresh start that you're looking for. To remove the anxiety that you're dealing with, the worries, the financial issues. Like I said, whatever this issue is that to you, it seems impossible. Some of you guys need to pay rent by tomorrow and you're like, Maji, I don't have this money. What do I do? I live in a bad neighborhood. I'm in an abusive relationship. I'm stuck somewhere and I don't see myself moving. It seems impossible. God is moving you to your destiny. Know that with God, everything is possible. You just need to have faith. Okay, Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius tells me that you need to use your discernment. Okay, you need to ask God for wisdom and you need to communicate and know that your voice has power. The Six of Pentacles is telling me here that you need to build a relationship with God where it's a give and take, you know? Your faith is all God is asking you for, the trust and the faith, and then let God do the rest, okay? Nothing is impossible to God, guys. You really have to understand this. We have the four of pentacles. Yeah, some of you guys really here living paycheck by paycheck. You are trying to manifest more money, more abundance. There's something that you're holding on to. We have the page of cups, the eight of wands, and the two of cups. Some of you guys are trying to manifest love in your life. This will happen for you. You're trying to manifest communication. Yes, the wheel of fortune, like I was saying. God is the one who can shift things in your life, guys. You need to know this truth. God is the one who can change and shift your life change your destiny your fortune maybe you feel like you've had some, a lot of bad luck lately or for a couple years now but you know god is the one that can change your life in a second in an instant in the snap of the fingers okay we have the fool it requires a risk right it requires you to step into this trust into this um stepping into this place of surrender okay this is a time that you need to surrender to god surrender your problems to god okay um and take a leap of faith. See how this girl is kind of trusting the universe? She's kind of like, you know what? I'll just play my music. I'll hang out with my pet. And 
you know, I'm just going to allow God to take the wheel, basically. That's the wheel of fortune. Let God take the wheel because God will shift to you instantly. Things change everything for your life, okay? Instantly with that eight of wands. It can happen overnight. It can happen in one minute. It can happen right after this video. Yes, exactly. This energy here is what was disturbing my video. Um, I would have uploaded what what came, what like how the video was downloaded. It was crazy. Like literally, it changed my entire voice. It was so creepy. That That is something impossible as well. Um, so you need to remember that God does the impossible in a good way, okay? God's never trying to manipulate you or give you fake illusions. God keeps his word. We have judgment, right? So some of you guys are looking for a resurrection to feel revived. You're, you're waiting on judgment, all right, from the people that hurt you. And God is trying to bring you this judgment because God has seen that you are under a spiritual attack. And there's a lot of chaos that people are trying to build in your life. There's a lot of fights and drama. We have the Empress. Like I was saying in the last video, if you trust God to do the impossible in your life, God can literally put you on this pedestal in this divine feminine energy and allow you to have this magnetic energy where you attract everything that you desire effortlessly, okay? You're just sitting on your freaking throne, okay? God will raise you up and put you on a pedestal, put you on a throne, put you and claim you as royalty because you have a high calling here. If you trust your angels and God, you will receive this calling and your enemies will receive judgment. You just have to leave it to God. There's a need to surrender to know and keep faith that God is the only one that's going to make things in, that is going to make the impossible possible. Comment that down below. God makes the impossible possible in my life. Ashe. So yeah, we got ten of swords. Like I said, it's like you feel like something is over. There's no resurrection. Um, you feel like giving up. You feel like you just been through a lot of betrayals, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt. Even, even though on the outside you're acting like everything is fine, on the inside you're hurting, okay? And it's like whatever pain you're dealing with, know that God is going to make that, impos that, that possible for you where you can heal from that. And that's the truth, okay? I'm seeing the sun is going to come out after a period of darkness. You've been in this darkness for such a long time. Could have been 10 years, okay, for some of you guys. And, you know, you are going to get receive this miracle, basically. And I'm also getting here, if somebody's trying to manifest a pregnancy, you've been having like miscarriages or something like that, or you need forgiveness for some type of abortion, God has already forgiven you. And if you're trying to get pregnant, God is going to change that in your favor. Everything could go in your favor. If you've been having a season of bad luck, God is going to change everything in your favor because I see somebody here very sad, very depressed. You feel like giving up. You feel like that's it. Like I feel like cutting all ties, like nothing is working out for me. A lot of people have turned their backs on me a lot of people have been jealous around me but you need to understand that that's nothing to worry about because god is the one that has been witnessing your life watching behind the scenes okay and he's getting ready to restore your life to be honest yes you're his star you're his star aquarius energy you're god's like literally star so like i said there's a need to have hope there's a need to have faith there's a need to believe in the magic Okay, believe that you can reach that star, that that thing that you're aiming so high that seems impossible. Some of you guys have dreams that are so big, but the people around you have five five have caused major changes in your life, have belittled you, have made have allowed you to dim your light, have tried to literally take your light, kill your spirit, but yet it's still here. You're still shining this beautiful light in the Ace of Wands. It's like you're going to find that inspiration again. You're going to find that spark, that new beginning. Okay? You can reach this dream is what God is saying. It don't matter how high that sky is, you're going to reach that. Okay? Three of Cups. Yeah. Celebration. Okay? Ten of Cups. Happiness. Some of you guys feel left out in the cold. Like maybe you're dealing with financial issues or um, you just feel left out in the cold. Like a lot of things are not working. See, but you have angels protecting you and blocking whatever is trying to come your way. You need to believe this. Okay, we have the Tower, the Four of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. Somebody here is having 
trouble sleeping or like you're being psychically attacked and you find yourself praying a lot more that's okay my love prayer is is how you speak in tongues and how you can protect yourself in the spirit and so with the seven of swords it's like there's somebody here that's attacking you while you're sleeping or is taking away your rest your peace and this is going to backfire to them okay just leave it to god whatever this deception is ask god to give you a, re <coughs> a revelation as to who these enemies are right ask for the sermon because definitely here there is some type of pain that you're dealing with leave that pain to god whether this was a heartbreak a betrayal whether this was from a lover friend family foe okay god can take you out of this stuck place some of you guys are like maji i'm so stuck Okay, I've been living in this bad neighborhood or this house or in this relationship or this job or I've been broke. You're a star in God's eyes. All you got to do is ask and then you shall receive. Okay, seven of cups. Yeah, you can. God can give you everything, not just one wish, a whole bunch of wishes, eight of, eight of, eight of um, pentacles. Yeah, continue working on that creativity on your projects because God is trying to give you inspiration. If you're trying to start this own business okay maybe you're trying to leave a job and you're like i don't know if it's going to be possible for me to start my own business at home of course it is anything is possible for you all you have to do is just believe okay do you believe in life after love that song just came through we have shaman so yeah you're a healer okay definitely not only is a miracle on its way to you you are a miracle like i said god has made you a miracle your whole life has been a miracle so why wouldn't god continue to give you miracles in your life plus there's a miracle on the way which is initiating this miracle something you thought was impossible this is a miracle you thought it was something that you couldn't reach that it was like really hard to reach or literally like impossible is what i'm getting here but you are a miracle something about your childhood right it's like you're here and it was a miracle and you've seen miracles happen in your life if you really sit down and reflect. So why wouldn't God do it again? Why wouldn't God do it again? Okay. What else here, spirit? Yeah. God can shift things in your life instantly and change the dynamic in your family. Because some of you guys are praying to restore your family, your marriages. Of course that can happen. Okay. God can do anything. Ancient Egyptian ancestors. Your ancestors also got your back. Okay? Because like I said, you a star. You a powerful light worker. And we have dreams coming true. My love, your dreams are coming true. But you need to have faith. You need to believe. There's a possibility. And this is a miracle that's coming to you. There's some sort of wish that you have. Maybe this wish is to restore your health. To restore your finances. To actually go towards the dream. That destiny. Okay? Because I see you're a light worker. To, to follow the mission of a healer here. All of these are possible for you. Whatever it is in your mind, it is possible for you. You just have to believe and have faith without a doubt. Do not doubt because doubt doesn't come from God. It comes from this being right here. Okay? I see Capricorn energy, Aquarius, Orion, air signs, Sagittarius coming through. All right, let's see what else we have here. Um, that was crazy how that video deleted. I mean, it didn't delete. It just, I had to delete it. If not, you would have seen this video around 2 p.m. today. Yeah, a seer. And remember, I just said um, that song. Do you believe in life after love? I don't know why she looks like Cher. She kind of gives me that vibe. But you are a seer, okay? You can see things. You're a shaman. We have karma X Factor. Yeah, people here have been trying to transfer their karma to you. God has been watching that. Trust that all these karma, yeah, fake religious, religion. Somebody who uses religion as a cover and preaches the gospel or philosophy but does not complete the opposite in real life. Yeah, all these people here, even, even you know, that's what I'm getting, like, these people who are harming you, doing spell work on you, because the earlier in the video, I kept picking up that there was a lot of psychic attacks and a lot of secrets that you do not see, but yet you may intuitively be picking up on. These are people that are religious, like fake religious, okay? They're, they're pretending to be religious, but behind the scenes, they're in fact this, and they're working for this, okay? But you're not that. See, we have attacks. They have been attacking you, attempting to attack you to weaken your state because they know you're a powerful seer and you have a lot of insight. 
sacrifice. See, these people are also willing to do sacrifices at this altar for this demon here. They'll do whatever sacrifices to do this. They'll literally like shed blood on this. We got competitors. Like I said, you do have people that have been competing with you because yeah, black magic. See, God is going to remove all that for you, my love. You have been literally dealing with a lot of psychic attacks and black magic and, and hexes and curses and karmics and all this. But who's to say that God is not watching and is going to remove this? Remember, we all have free will. That's why it's important to pray. Because though God is watching and protecting you, you need to ask for God, you know, to remove this that seems impossible for you and to make it a possibility for your safety. Because these people are sending you evil eye and they're doing all types of black magic, okay? All to dim your light. All to attempt to dim your light because they know that you're meant to shine. They know that you're a star. We got gang stalking. That card came out yesterday. You definitely have a few people here who are gang stalking you. But like I said, you're very strong. You're very, very strong even mentally. Okay, so if you keep that up, this is very good. We have forgiveness. I see, I do see with the five of cups, like you may be having some type of regret or guilt that's still kind of lingering in your energy. Let it go. Let it go. Because these enemies are um, trying to get vengeance. They feel like you hurt them in whatever way, shape, or form. Okay, maybe your success hurts them. Like, you know? So just continue being you. I see that you are some sort of spiritual teacher here. You're, you're having a lot of spiritual experiences, lucid dreaming, okay? Spiritual awakenings. You're learning life lessons at this time because you're meant to lead the people. We have Judas, okay? Even Jesus had a Judas, my love. Even Jesus had a Judas. Follow your intuition because you do have somebody here that's planning to stab you in the back or already is or already has. And they're gonna get karma. We saw the judgment card. So leave this to God. Possession, yeah. They've been trying. This is somebody that's easily manipulated and possessed by demons because they have no soul. Okay? They're operating from a very weak aura here. This is somebody, this Judas, obviously, just like Jesus, pretends to be your friend. They sit at your table, they eat with you, but they're just planning to, you know, to stab you in the back, even though they're like a shadow right now. They're working on their shadow side. Their name may start with a J, a D, or an S. Or a P. We got family. This could be your own family members or people that you consider family, workplace, okay, people that you work with or collaborated with. We have water. Make sure you guys are cleansing and protecting your energy with the element of water, okay? Ascending, exactly, my love. You are rising above your enemies in the competition. Comment that down below. I am rising above my competitors. Yeah, you're, you're clearing all of this hexes and all of this. Because I feel like you have been praying and asking God. So this is your confirmation. For others of you, you need to know that if you have some sort of hex, black magic or something, it's prayer. It's the it's speaking in tongues that is going to rebuke and repel all of that and send it back to the sender. You get what I mean? But you're ascending. Because right now it's like God is putting you in a position where your energy is so high no one can touch you. You're becoming untouchable. And that's something you might have thought that was impossible, but now it's become impossible. All this being removed and you finally being in this white light where nothing can touch you, really, you know? So remember, just don't have any doubt. Don't have any doubt. You are protected here. You have protection. As long as you believe that faithfully and you continue to remain optimistic, okay? Remember that you guys are going through a glow up as well. If you've been asking God for a glow up, you've been asking God to have a more um, positive mind state because you've been in a state of depression, okay? All that is going to be restored in your life. God can help you with all of this, guys. Lighten your load. Some of you guys have so many burdens. You've been overworking and still not making money. You've been carrying some heavy burdens with you. God will lighten that load. Ask for guidance, okay? Some of you guys are asking for prosperity. God is going to give you that. I see this blessing coming. Like I said, your beauty. See, I can't make it up. Mind you got the tea. Your life purpose could be revealed. You feel confused. God is going to take you to your life purpose, your destiny. God is giving you a glow up, innerly and outerly, where you're going to see more beautiful because your aura is glowing. You're being more confident. You know what I mean? If there was any insecurity, that's going to be removed. And there's a reconciliation that you're going to have with yourself that's going to make you feel... Um, 
more connected, like you have an authentic identity and you're going to feel more authentic with yourself as well. And you're going to be more compassionate with yourself. But I do see some of you guys are grieving. Maybe you lost somebody, whether this was like, like, like through a breakup or this person passed away. Okay, this was part of your life purpose is what I'm hearing. But again, it's like there's this need for forgiveness. Maybe you feel like God will never forgive you for something you've done. All these things are possible through God, okay? All these things are, uh, are, are able to be done by God. Clarity, if you've been looking for clarity because you have been confused. All these things are possible, guys. That's what this emphasis of this message is today. You need to just believe. You need to continue praying. You need to keep the faith that all things will work out for you. All things are already working out for you, okay? Everything and anything is possible through God. Literally. And when I got this download, I really felt guided to grab the Bible. And that's why that video, <laughs> that thing happened. Because the enemy obviously don't want me to pull up the word. You feel me? It don't want me to pull up, pick up the word. Um, yeah. Let me see any last messages before I let go. But we have justice, my love. Libra. You're going to get justice for whatever was done to you. See, some of you guys really feel alone, abandoned. Okay, you feel abandoned, like no one loves you. Well, God loves you and your angels love you. Your ancestors love you. Some of you guys can't sleep. You have anxiety, PTSD, worries, worries about money, worries about being evicted. God is going to make the impossible for you, okay? Somebody here was homeless, I'm hearing. Somebody here was homeless. They were sleeping in a church or they were sleeping outside the church. God is going to make the impossible for you. Somebody here has been dealing with some sort of leg issue. God is going to make the impossible for you. Again, the star. Keep that hope. That hope is everything. Without hope, there's no life. Six of wands, my love. You're going to get the victory and you're going to get that new beginning, new opportunity. Seven of swords. Yeah, definitely somebody has been trying to deceive you otherwise to make you believe that your situation, you can't get out of it. That's a deception. That is a lie. You can, and in fact, you can remain independent here. You will get your wish fulfillment, and you will walk away from this toxic environment or person and these competitors and freaking en envious people here. God will put you in a place where you're going to be having so much of an overflow of abundance, a fresh new start. Is that what you've been praying for? A fresh new start, a fresh new love, self-love, self-worth to fill your own cup. All these wishes are coming true, okay? There's a high emphasis on that. You've been planning to travel, you know, to have a better job. That's going to happen for you. So, yeah, remain confident at this time and get ready for this transformation. Do not hold back, okay? This is the message that I have for you guys. I hope it brought you love, light, healing, strength, clarity, and confirmation. Thank you very much. If you'd like to purchase my um, Chosen Ones Oracle deck that I used today, all right, the link is going to be down below. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Um, if you feel that you are chosen, okay, if you feel like you're a light worker, a healer in any way, this is definitely for you, that deck, okay? It's going to activate you, it's going to empower you, and it's going to allow you to remember exactly who you are if you have forgotten, all right? Guys, please beware of these scammers. Um, no one is the real Maji. I do not chase, I attract, period. Thank you guys so much for your likes, share, and subscriptions, and um, yeah, peace out. Good night.